And you're welcome back to The Pulse. Now, Ghana's inf inflation has hit a record high of more than 19% with transport and food inflation all recording rates of more than 22%. Here's government statistician Professor Samuel Kobina uh, announcing uh, details of this. The highlights for CPI and rate of inflation for the month of March 2022 as follows. Year-on-year -year inflation for the month of March 2022 stood at 19.4% relative to the 157 that was recorded for the month of February 2022. This literally means that between the month of March 2021 and March 2022, prices of goods and services on a year-on-year -year basis went up by 19.4%. On a month-on-month -month basis, that is, that is between February 2022 and March 2022, inflation stood at 4.0%, indicating that within the month, that month period, that is February and March 2022, prices of goods and services went up by 4.0%. Food inflation continued to maintain its dominance over non-food inflation. Indeed, it has deepened its dominance over non-food inflation as food inflation stood at 22.4% relative to non-food inflation 17.0%. On a month-on-month -month basis, the difference between food inflation and non-food non inflation was relatively smaller as food inflation stood at 4.5% relative to 37 that was recorded for non-food inflation. We have seen a reversal of the dominance of housing, water, electricity and gas as transport in several months has recorded the highest rate of inflation of 27.6%, followed by food 22.4% and housing, water, electricity and gas 21.4%. The contribution of food non-alcoholic beverages on overall in in inflation increased by 2.0% and it must be recorded that the contribution of transport recorded a much higher increase relative to food and non-alcoholic beverages at its increase was 2.6 and percentage point. The gap between locally produced items and imported items have been reduced, although locally produced items continue to maintain its dominance of 20.0 inflation for the month of March 2022 and 17.3 for imported items for the month of March 2022. Brongahafo region recorded the highest inflation of 23.1 and Upper East region the lowest inflation of 12.5%, showing a stark variation across the administrative regions. Thank you. Well, so the trend is what we need to break down for you. Isaac Ofeje uh, is with our research desk, joins us uh, now for some breakdown of mm. the figure. So, Isaac, let's start from, from the beginning. Where did we... Uh, I mean, get to this point of crossing the sing, 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 single the eight, digit, yeah, and exactly. then we moved into a dom the eight percent plus or minus. Two. Precisely. So break now we are doing nineteen point four. You know, that, that's where we are. Four percent. Right. So it means we've doubled, you know, from our target. But this started right from December twenty twenty one, where we started increasing our inflation rate from twelve point six to thirteen point. You know. Um, 6% in um, January 2022. Right. And then just um, in February, we were around 15.7. And now in March, 19.4%. You know, and, and it appears that the projection is we may go even above this Absolutely. mark that we have. So yesterday, we were right. talking about you know, the World Bank, IMF projecting that you know, um, developing countries like ourselves mm -hmm. you know, will be facing um, um, you know, food inflation. We are likely to feel the pinch more right. because we spend more than 40 percent of our income on food so if you're having this ukraine and russia tension then it means that you're going to feel the pinch but so let's talk about the factors exactly. driving this because so that, we need to know what's accounting mm -hmm. for this sharp rise mm -hmm. of of in inflation so the figure we just gave that's the head-on inflation you know that's the general level uh, price levels of goods and services so whether it being housing transport fuel or anything, the price levels have gone up by 19% if you should compare March this year to March last year. But if you look at some of the drivers of inflation, for instance, if you talk about transport, transport inflation rate, if you compare March this year to March last year, has gone up by 27.6%. This means that it's more than the 90% um, head-on inflation we are talking about. If you, you should also look at food and non-alcoholic um, um, beverages, it has gone up by 22.4%. And then housing, water, and electricity also going up more than 20%. Mm. So, bless us. So, the next slide, which talks about the trend in terms of year on year non food inflation. 
So I just want you to focus on this. Just right. look at this. On this timeline. Try, try and make it simple for us. Absolutely. So let's look at... <laughs> not too friendly. Last right. year. Last year, January to March last year. You mm -hmm. Just look at... Oh, you mean the green timeline? Exactly. The okay. green timeline. Okay. That's the food green. inflation. Right. Okay. Right. So you can see that rise from last year, January to March, food inflation was dropping. It dropped from 14.1% to 12.8%, then to 12.3%, and further deep to... 6.5%, uh, you know, that was a single digit. Right. Now, if you should compare that same period to what we have now, just see the skyrocketing figures, a stratospheric rise from 12.8% um, you know, to 14, 17, and now 22.4%, meaning that the food inflation we have at the moment is more than the, um, the head-on inflation, which is 19, you know, 0.4%. So basically, have. it will cost you more, for instance, to purchase the, mm -hmm. the food items, mm -hmm. uh, and, and also some, some other products. Yeah, like simply put, food, um, the price of food, food has gone up by 19%. You compare March this year to March last year. Yeah. But let's look at the regional breakdown. Right. Let's look at the map. Right. If you should, you can, the map, um, yeah. Okay. So if you look at the map, you realize that overall inflation, the region leading is the Bronga Havel region. Bronga Havel's, uh, you know, overall inflation is around 23.1% and then followed by the greater, um, sorry, by northern region, which is 22%. The greater Accra is having an, an overall inflation of 21.7%. But if you should focus on food inflation, yeah. upper west region, it means that if you should compare the period uh, March 20, 2022 to March last year, upper west region, food prices have gone up more than 34% mm. in the upper west region. And in the greater Accra region, you know, 24%. So if you should consider all of this, most of them are above the, 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 you know, the, the average of 22% uh, that we spoke about when it comes to food inflation. And we also have one for non-food inflation. But we can also talk about uh, imported and local goods. Products. Yeah, exactly. So if you look at um, imported goods, inflation is lower than what we, we produce locally. So okay. the previous slide. So if you look at... Imported goods, for instance, inflation March this, uh, March this year is 17.3 percent. But if you should look at locally produced goods, it is 20 percent. So, so if you're buying a foreign item, that would even cost you less. Uh, exactly. It means that the, the foreign goods we have in the system, you know, the price levels haven't really gone up if you compare it to... And that's what, going to even pose more threats to Ghanaian businesses, for instance. Exactly. Uh, who are already, already grappling with the challenges of COVID, moving out of the situation, and so all of that. So cost of production now, and other things. Cost of production may go up. And they're not guaranteed of the market because inflation... But, uh, but it, possibly, maybe in the next product. months, we may see um, imported goods also having a high inflation because of this Ukraine-Russia tensions. Mm. Already we are feeling the pinch when it comes to maize, and then, you know, cereals in, in general, because Russia and Ukraine, they are... So your prediction that the, the situation will not get the better? The situation may, may, may get terms. worse okay. if this should uh, this Ukraine-Russia okay. war should persist, bless it. Isaac AJ, I'm grateful that you've been able to give us the latest, but we're also keeping our eyes on the health sector. Don't forget about that, because the National Health uh, insurance authority has been speaking about how they intend to change the health delivery system we'll get to all of that for you shortly